Hey, it's Bob Nagin, and in this episode of Real Retail TV, we're going to talk about the Pina Colada Principle. So the pina colada principle simply states that there is always a hook available that you can use to drive traffic. And so what do I mean and how did it become the pina colada principle? So my friend Randy Gage has a great saying. He says, there's no shortage of money. There's just a shortage of ideas and it applies to marketing there's no shortage of people out there who want to come into your store and buy things there's just a shortage of good ideas that will actually get them to take action and come into your store and the reason that it's named the pina colada principle is our friend misha seto who owns uh, 13 stores in the lewis delaware area Whenever it rains, she makes up pina coladas in a punch bowl and serves them to anybody who is shopping in her stores. And she does it because of the 1970s uh, song, The Escape Song. And you probably know it as the pina colada song. Do you love pina coladas? getting caught in the rain. That song was the number one song of the 1970s in the United States. And when I started to sing it, you probably remembered it. You might not like the way I sang it, but you probably remembered it. And so there's that association, there's that hook between pina coladas and rain. And what Misha said was that when it rains on the shore, her traffic goes way down. They, her customers, the people who are in, on the Delaware shore, tend to go to the outlet malls, not shop, shop in downtown Lewis. So she came up with the pina colada marketing strategy. When it rains, they serve pina coladas and then they start to play the song in the store and do all of those things. Uh, our friend Kelly Larson, if it snows early in the season, she gives away a free ice cream cone. Why? When it gets cold, people don't want ice cream. So she has an idea, a pina colada idea to get people into the store. There's always something you can do. It's just a question of thinking about it, being clever, and being willing to hustle. I want to say that also. So many retailers, and it's not, this is not a judgment, but there's the field of dreams mentality happening where uh, if I open my store, they will come. And that's just not a truth. It's just not a reality. And at, back in the early days of the Mackinac Kite Company, when I started my career, right next to our store, was the Dixie Tavern. In the Dixie Tavern, the whole, uh, you know, the, the whole wall was windows. And everybody wanted to sit at the window seats because they faced the Straits of Mackinac. Beautiful, beautiful view. But if there was nobody in the store, my brother Steve and I would take a wind-up bird, a tim bird, a French ornithopter. You wind it up and then it flaps its wings and it flies and one of us would get on one end of the window and the other would get on the other end and we just fly this bird back and forth and all the customers they were just sitting there eating their dinners they'd watch this bird and we would look at them and then if somebody would say we'd go right next door right so the point is is it could be argued that we were being obnoxious and we were uh interrupting somebody's dinner but i can tell you that we were hustling, that we needed the traffic, and we did what we needed to do to drive the traffic. Misha needs the, tra she doesn't need the traffic, she wants the traffic, it rains, the traffic dries up, the pina colada principle comes into play. So again, the pina colada principle merely state that there's always something 
always, and I'm going to say that, always something you can do to drive traffic. So uh, I hope that this episode of Real Retail TV stimulated your brain and got you thinking about things that you can do to drive traffic at times when you might be slow or drive traffic at any time but this whole idea of there's always something you can do so if you do something fun put it in the comments below i'm bob nagan we'll see you next week mm -hmm.